In September of 1976, newly elected President Jimmy Carter announced the choice for his national security advisor. Zbigniew Brzezinski, Columbia University foreign policy expert. The choice did not surprise anyone. As Carter's election campaign advisor, Brzezinski helped secure his victory. Carter and uh, Brzezinski really hit it off, and uh, Carter uh, trusted Brzezinski a lot. And Brzezinski was, of course, the one who educated Carter in foreign policy affairs long before he became president. Klaus Laris, professor of international relations at the University of North Carolina, spoke to us via Skype. The Warsaw-born son of a Polish diplomat became a U.S. citizen in 1958 and soon established himself as a political hardliner. His anti-Soviet stance influenced U.S. foreign policy, says Laris. Uh, together with Kissinger, he really shaped American foreign policy, I would say, from the 1960s, 1970s, and 1980s. As national security advisor, Brzezinski was involved in making all major U.S. foreign policy decisions during the Carter administration, including negotiating for the Panama Treaty, arming Mujahideen in Afghanistan to fight the Soviet invaders and planning a failed mission to rescue 52 American hostages held in Iran. He had actually encouraged Carter to embark on that rescue mission. Of course, it is not Brzezinski's, neither is it uh, Carter's personal fault that the helicopters crashed. Uh, that had nothing to do with po the political uh, uh, decision makers, but they could not uh, escape that very poor uh, consequence of that. But Brzezinski also was involved in the Camp David negotiations, which Laris considers one of the biggest successes of the Carter administration. Brzezinski remained professionally active until his death on May 26, publishing books and commenting on political affairs. In an interview with VOA's Ukrainian service in 2009, he warned leaders in Kiev of the danger of falling prey to Moscow. Today we have an oligarchic elite in Ukraine that is in the pay of foreign interests, that is manipulating the wealth of the country for its own benefit, and is not genuinely committed to the shaping of a nationally based Ukrainian democracy. Laris says Brzezinski also warned the United States not to give up on global leadership because that would lead to turmoil and instability worldwide. Zlatica Hoke, VOA News, Washington.